Can you tell me, please? Hello, <coughs> hello, Hamza. Yes, sir. Tell me, please. Sir, I am not Sorry? I am not Your voice is not clear, Hamza. I think we are uh, in electric potential. Hamza. Hello. Okay.
Yeah, let's start now from electric potential. Please note it down. Electric potential. We are in electric potential, okay? What is your electric potential? First of all, we are going to define it. Electric potential at a point electric potential at a point is the work done electric potential at a point is the work done by external force work done by external force in carrying a unit positive a unit positive test charge from infinity to a point from infinity to that point against the electric field against the electric field without acceleration okay suppose that you have a positive charge and this charge can be also known as the source charge okay and if it is your source charge, then we have already know it creates its own field surrounding itself. And we have a point inside the field of this positive, uh, of this positive charge. Suppose that that point is P, okay? And we want to calculate the electric potential at this point P, then what will happen and how can we calculate it? We can assume that the another reference point at infinity like this, okay? And at infinity, we have already know your potential at infinity is zero. And we you go to carry a positive, sorry, a unit positive test charge from infinity to that point in such a way that your charge should not be accelerated while transporting from infinity to that point P. Okay. And when it enters into the region of this electric field of, sorry, into the region of this positive charge, then we have already know an external force, sorry, an external force is applied upon this body for this carrying, for carrying this charge, which is your F of external. And when it enter into the field of the positive charge, then a force will also applied upon this body, which try to repel it in a way direction. And this force is applied by F of electric. I mean, this is your electric force, okay? which is applied due to this charge, all right? This is your electric fold or sometime it is also known as F of conservative. I mean, conservative forces, okay? And now we are choosing the separation from the source charge to the point P is R. Then what will be your potential difference? We have already known your potential can be written as delta V is equal to delta W over Q. And now what is your delta V? Delta V is your V P minus of V infinity is equal to W is your W infinite externally from infinite to A externally over Q. Okay. This is your equation number one. What will happen if we take your charge Q is, is one coulomb. Okay. When you put this charge into the equation number one, you get Vp minus V infinite is equal to W of infinite to A externally. Okay. This is your equation number two. All right. And now what is your W infinity to A? I mean, what is the work done from transporting this charge infinity to this point P? We have already know your W is, I mean, W external to, sorry, W infinite to A externally is infinite uh, uh, sorry integration of 
इनफाइनाइट टू आर ए माइनस ऑफ क्यू डॉट डी आर दिस इज योर इक्वेशन नंबर थ्री नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू पुट इक्वेशन नंबर थ्री इन इक्वेशन नंबर वन वी गेट वी एट पी इज इक्वल टू माइनस ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन इनफाइनाइट टू आर ए क्यू ई डॉट डी आर ओवर क्यू क्यू इज कैंसिल विद क्यू एंड वी गेट पोटेंशियल एट सॉरी दिस इज योर पी नॉट ए ओके योर पी बिकॉज यू आर ट्रांसपोर्टिंग फ्रॉम इंफिनिटी टू पॉइंट पी ओके वी पी इज इक्वल टू माइनस इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ इनफाइनाइट टू आर पी ओके दिस इज योर आर पी e dot dr are you clearly understand it or not hello yes sir okay note it down please Have you noted it? Yes, sir. Can we move on, Hamza? No, sir. No, sir. I'm writing. Why is it clear? Okay, sir. Done. Okay, good. And now the <coughs> unit. is unit of potential uh in si system is joule per coulomb or sometime it is also called as volt and the second one is it is a scalar quantity okay note it down also now please note down a, a question here electric field in a region is electric field in a region is e is equal to a over x cube i cap calculate potential in this region calculate potential in this region 
okay this is your question and now we are going to solve it the value of electric field is given as e is equal to a over x cube i cap okay and now what is the value of potential we have already calculated the equation of potential is v is equal to integration of e dot dr with negative sign okay so we are taking here minus of e dot dr from infinity to x so you have value of e is a over x cube i cap so we can write integration of infinity to x a over x cube i cap and now if electric field is uh, along i cap i mean in the terms of unit vector as uh, okay are taken here so your position vector also be taken uh, in terms of unit vector and we can take here dx i cap minus of integration from infinity to x we can take a over x cube dx and i cap i cap after multiplication it will becomes 1 okay then your v is equal to minus of a can be taken as outside infinite to x 1 over x cube dx and now we have already know the formula of integration is if your value x is uh, x to the power n then after integration we get x to the power n plus 1 over n plus 1 okay then this equation i mean 1 over x cube is not in a proper format okay so first of all we should go to the change its format and we can write here integration of infinity to x we can write x to the power minus 3 dx now you can look at here this x to the power minus 3 is in the proper format of integration and now we can easily integrate it and after integration you can right here in you you can write here x to the power minus 3 plus 1 over minus 3 plus 1 from infinity to x and now v is equal to a in bracket x to the power minus 2 over minus 2 from infinity to x so we can write v is equal to minus of one second there is also minus this is also minus minus of a over minus of 2 integration uh, sorry in bracket x to the power minus 2 can be written as 1 over x infinity to x now after putting at the value of x first of all this is your called upper limit and this is your lower limit okay after integration uh, sorry after calculation we get a over 2 1 over x this is your final potential are you understand hamza yes one second one second x square not x x square because it is your minus yeah are you understand clearly is there any issue yes sir note it down please
Okay. We are taking one more questions. Calculate V A minus V B. And your question is given as like this and some electric field is passing in such a way separation between these two point is given as 5 meter. This is your point A and this is your point B. Your electric field is given as 10 Newton per coulomb. Okay. It is saying that calculate VA minus VB. Okay. I think uh, you have uh, already studied this equation VA minus VB is equal to minus of E uh, R B A. Do you, uh, have you already studied this equation or not with me? Hamza? Yes, sir. Have you studied this? So, in this question, this concept is applied here. And we can take this is your point A and this is your point B. Okay. Separation between these two points is 5 meter. And the electric field is E is equal to 10 Newton per coulomb. And now we have an equation like this. VA minus VB. VA minus VB is equal to minus of E dot RBA. And now this RBA, I mean this part of RBA is your displacement vector. And we have already know. If your value is given in displacement vector, then we can it okay. Then we can write it R A minus R B. R A minus R B. And now you can put it here. Minus of E. Minus of E. Electric field is given here 10 Newton per coulomb into R B A can be written as R A minus R B. And this, sorry. There is no more requirement to put here R A minus R B because it is not given in the terms of the uh, uh, displacement vector, uh, sorry, position vector. Your value of R B A is given here 5 meters. So we can easily put it here R B A is 5 and your electric field and the position, uh, sorry, displacement vector are uh, in the uh, dot product. Okay. After expansion, you get cos theta also and this cos theta if you want to calculate sorry this angle is also given as 45 degree and if if you want to write down the value of theta here then we have already know the angle can be measured from anti-clockwise okay from x-axis if you go through okay go through this then you can write it cos of 360 minus of 45 degree one second 360 minus of 45 degree. It will be minus of 50. Cos 360 minus 45 is again minus of cos 45. And now minus minus will be plus. I mean, it will be plus 50 into cos 45. And cos 45 is 1 by root 2. And I am going to write here 50 over root 2 volt. Okay. This is your answer. Note it down. This is the final answer VA minus VB. Note it down, please.
start now. All right. Amda, from which school you are? MES. Sorry? MES. MES. From, uh, uh, are you from UA? No, Qatar. Sorry? Sir, I'm from Qatar. The voice is not clear, Amda. Now, next heading is electric potential. Due to a point charge. Electric potential due to a point charge. Okay. Electric potential due to a point charge. Okay. We have a point charge at this point plus Q, okay? And there is another point P where we want to calculate the electric potential, okay? This is your point P and this point P is lying in the field of this positive charge. The separation between these charges are, sorry, from the charge to the point P is X. And we have already know we can't calculate the electric potential at a single point, okay? So, <coughs> we should take the one another point where potential is zero. And we are taking here, this is your point at infinity where your potential is zero. This is your V infinity. V at, uh, sorry, uh, at V infinity, your potential is zero. And now when you <coughs> are taking a unit positive test charge, suppose that you have a unit positive test charge, you are carrying from infinity to this point P by external effort, by external effort, then we can say you are applying the force upon this charged particle is F external. This is your F external. And when it enter into the field of this positive charge, then at point P, this positive charge also apply an electric force upon this point charge. And this force is your F of electric. You can say this is your F electric or this is your conservative force. Okay. And now, first of all, you have remember that at point P in equilibrium condition, in equilibrium condition, your F external, F external is always be equal to F of electric, okay? So what is the electric force? Electric force on charge of plus one coulomb due to Q. This is your F of electric is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught Q over X square. Sorry, not X. We have taken here R. So this is your electric force. Okay. And you can take it. This is your equation number uh, 1 and this is your equation number 2 here. Okay. And now what is the amount of work done while transporting this charge from infinity to the point P? You are going to calculate it, your work done, work done by external force in carrying one coulomb charge from while transporting one coulomb charge from infinity to R, okay? From infinity to R, we can say here, this is your W is equal to integration of 
infinity to r with minus sign f of electric dot df d r okay are you understanding this hamza or not yes sir okay and now your w is equal to minus of infinity to r f of electric dot dx we have taken here sorry we have taken here r not x dx sorry dr okay into cos 0 degree because we have already know there is no any angle between the displacement and the uh, force or you can remove it okay there is no need to write here because there is no any angle is available okay so we can easily remove it and now what is your w w is equal to minus of integration infinity to r what is your f of electric your f electric is we have already know f electric is uh, 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught q over r square 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught q over r square dot dr okay so your w is equal to minus of q over 4 pi epsilon naught infinity to r 1 over r square dr okay Note it down, please, till here. Then we will continue it from the next page, okay? Note it down, please. Are you understanding it or not, Hamza? Yes, sir. Okay, note it down, please. Have you noted it, Hamza? Yes, sir. Sir, done. Okay.
now we have this equation right i am going to write it again on the next page just one second we have taken the integration Hamza, just one second. Sorry for it. Uh, please take here dx, not r. Okay. Uh, one over r square uh, q over f dot dx, not rx. Dx you can take here. F e dot dx q over r square dx, and this is also x square. X, you can take here X because we are transporting it from infinity. Okay, please, uh, please correct it. Not X, uh, sorry, not R. This is your X square because we have taken integral from infinity to R. Okay. Yeah, make it X, please. Please correct it. It's done. Hamza. Yes, sir. Okay. And now <clears throat> I think we have in this equation, what is your last equation? This is your W is equal to minus of Q over 4 pi epsilon naught. W is equal to minus of Q over 4 pi epsilon naught. Integration of 1 over X square dx from infinity to r okay and now once again you can look at here this is not in the proper form of integration so first of all we should change it in the proper form then we can integrate it and we have already you know your proper form of integration is if your integrate integral of x to the power n then you can write here x to the power n plus 1 over n plus 1 okay and so we can write it first in the terms of x to the power minus 2 dx okay and now this is your q over 4 pi epsilon naught after integration you get x to the power minus of 2 plus 1 over minus 2 plus 1 from infinity to r you get minus of q over 4 pi epsilon naught x to the power minus 1 over minus 1 from infinity to r. So, your w is equal to minus of this minus 1 and this minus will be plus. So, you can write here q over 4 pi epsilon naught x to the power minus 1 from infinity to r and now q over 4 pi epsilon naught x to the power minus 1 can be written as 1 over x integration to r uh, sorry from infinity to r so q over 4 pi epsilon naught you can put at the position of x r you get q over 4 pi epsilon naught r this is your work done in carrying the unit positive test charge from infinity to that point p inside the field of this charge are you clear or not so note it down please And this work done, this work done, this work is the potential. This work is potential at that point. At that point. So you can write V is equal to W is equal to Q over 4 pi epsilon naught R. Note it down, please.
Yes, okay, good. Are you understand this equation now? And one more thing is that your potential will be positive if your charge is positive. Are you clear or not? So you can also write here potential of positive charge. Potential of positive charge is positive. And that of a negative charge, that of a negative charge is negative. Are you clear? Once again, from this equation, you can look at here, your R is inversely proportional to the V. Sorry, electric potential is inversely proportional to the R. We can write here, V is inversely proportional to the R. And we have from this uh, point, we have already know if your charge is positive, then your potential will also be positive. And if your charge is negative, your potential will also be negative. Are you clear? So if you want to draw the diag, uh, sorry, if you want to draw the graph, okay, for this, then you can draw it like this. This is your position R. And this is your axis of V. This is your axis of V. And we have already know this is your positive V and this is your in terms of plus. Okay. I mean, when your potential will be plus, your potential will okay, positive when your charge is positive. Are you understand or not? Hamza. Okay. Yes. So from this equation, you can look at here. V is inversely proportional to the R. So we have already know your graph will be parabola, uh, sorry, hyperbola. Your graph will be hyperbolic. Okay. So this is your graph of, one second. This is your graph of, this is your graph for positive charge. If your charge is positive, then your potential is positive. Okay. So you can write here, for positive potential. Okay. Similarly, if you want to draw the graph of negative potential, then how can you do it? This is your B. And this one is the R. Okay. And this is the graph for negative. Sorry, 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 sorry. Just one second. One second. We have taken a negative potential. Okay. If you are taking negative potential, then your potential axis will be in downward form. Okay. And this is your axis of negative potential, right? And now your graph will be like this. Okay. This is for negative potential. Are you understand it or not? Hamza? Yes, sir. Note it down, please. Note it down, please, Hamza. Yes, sir. Yes. 
sir done okay good and now in the next part we are going to cal okay this is uh, sorry this is your calculation for the single charge are you clear i mean in this heading we have understand that how can we calculate the electric potential due to a single point charge are you clear due to a single point charge we have calculated in this and now we are going to calculate electric potential due to n number of point charges are you understand or not we are going to calculate electric potential due to n number of positive uh, sorry n number of point charges okay now please note it down potential due to potential due to you can write here due to n number of point charges or you can also write uh, due to system of point charges okay in the system i mean we are consider here in the system in the sense there are more than one point charge are you clear or not so we are going to write potential due to system of point charge this is your potential due to system of point charges and now we have uh some charges this is your q1 and this one is your charge q2 this is your charge q3 okay there is any point p where we want to calculate the electric potential due to all of these individual charges q1 q2 uh, and qn you can take here qn okay not q3 q3 i mean this is nth number of charge so in such type of cases first of all we are going to join all of these individual charges to the point p in this way okay and the separation from charge q1 to the point p this is your point p uh, <coughs> you can take here this is your r1 and this is your r2 this is your rn okay and now can you tell me you have already calculated the electric potential due to single point charge then can you easily tell me that what will be the potential due to charge q1 at point p only what will be equation hamza yes sir yeah what will be your value of potential due to charge q1 at p i mean q1 at p what will be your equation can you tell me please this is your v1 v1 is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon not you have remember this equation this is you can look at here 1 over 4 pi epsilon not q over r are you understand but we have here q1 over r1 are you clear similarly potential due to charge q2 at point p is v2 is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon not q2 over r2 and due to nh charge your potential will be vn is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon not qn over rn are you clear yes, are you clear till here yes sir okay then what will be the total potential at point p due to all of these individual charges your total potential will be your total potential at p is v is equal to v1 v2 plus vn so what is your value of vn uh, sorry v1 you can put at here 1 over 4 pi epsilon not q1 over r1 plus 1 over 4 pi epsilon not q2 over r2 plus 
1 over 4 pi epsilon naught q n over r n. And now you can write here 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught. This is your q1 over r1, q2 over r2, q n over r n. Are you clear? Then you can also write 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught. What is your q1 over r1, q2 over r2 and qn over rn? You can easily write in the terms of summation, summation of qi over ri, where i is taken from 1 to the n. Okay. This is your total potential due to all of these individual charges at point P. Okay. And this equation is in algebraic form. Are you clear? Hamza? Yes, sir. Okay. Are you understand it? Yes, sir. But what will happen when your charge is continuously distributed? Okay. Then you can write here for continuous charge distribution. Okay. You can write for continuous charge distribution for continuous charge distribution you can write d is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught integration of dq over r okay please note it down this equation is useful when your charge is uniformly distributed okay it's okay or not? Note it down, please. Yes, sir. Have you noted it? Yes, sir. Can we move on? Yes, sir. We can. Okay, good. And now we have seen two different forms of this equation. This is your algebraic form and this is your calculus form. Okay. And now what will happen if your values or questions are given in terms of position vector, then you can also write here potential in terms of potential in terms of position vector. Okay. You can draw this coordinate frame. And we have chosen a point P here. We have a charge Q here. Then what is the position vector? We can join all of these two points. Okay, this is your point P. If this is your point P, then we can write this is your RP and this one is your R of Q. And we are going to calculate electric potential at point P due to this charge Q. Okay, then what will happen? First of all, you, when you go from Q to the P, you get R Q P. Okay, then we can write here RQP is equal to RP minus RQ. Okay. And now your potential will be 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught <coughs> Q over RQP. This is your vector form. <coughs> okay. I mean, what is your RQP? This is your displacement vector. Remember that. Okay. This is your displacement vector and this is your position vector. Okay. Are you clear or not? So you can yes, write sir. here 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught Q over RQP can be written as RP minus RQ. Okay. So please note it down. This is your potential V. Note it down,
Have you noted it, Hamza? No, sir. Sorry. Can we move on? Sir, on that, I'm writing the Okay, all right, all right. Okay, so we're done. Okay. And now we have a question here. <clears throat> Three charges. Three charges. Q1 is equal to 1 microcoulomb. Q2 is minus of 2 microcoulomb. And Q3 is minus of 1 microcoulomb. Are placed at, sorry, you can take here QA, QB, and QC. This is your QA, this is your QB, and QC. And QC is minus 1 microcoulomb are placed at A, which is your 0, 0, 0. At B and coordinate is minus one, comma two, comma three, and at C two, comma minus one, comma one. It is saying that find potential at P. Your coordinate of P is minus 1, comma 2, comma minus 1 again. This is your <coughs> question. Okay. Now, can you solve it? Hamza. Yes, sir. Solve it, please. Sir, the question is not there. Just one second. Yeah, please. <coughs> Can you solve it or not? Hamza. Hello. Yes, sir. Can you solve it or not? Okay, okay. Now we have three charges here, which is QA is given as one microcoulomb. What is the value of one microcoulomb? 1 microcoulomb is equal to 1 into 10 raised to the power minus of 6 coulomb. And QB is minus of 2 microcoulomb. This is your minus 2 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 coulomb. And QC is minus 1 microcoulomb. And this one is your minus 1 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 coulomb. Okay. And now position vectors are given here A. A in the sense it is given here RA. RA is given as 0, 0, 0 in the sense 0i, 
comma zero j and zero k. Similarly, your position vector of b is given as R b is minus of i cap plus two j plus three k, and your R c is given as two i cap minus j cap plus k cap. Okay, you can look at here. Are you understand, Hamza? Yes, sir. And now the another point P is. This is your point P, and it is your given as minus of i cap plus two j minus of k. Now, first of all, we are going to draw a rough diagram here. We can choose three charges. At this position, this is your charge Q one, which is one micro coulomb, one micro coulomb, and your position vector is also given here. Sorry, Q A. This is your charge Q A, and this is your point P. You can take here, and position vector is given as minus one, comma two, comma minus one. And this is your charge B, and this is your charge C. When you draw, sorry, when you join it, then you can say, look at here. You can join it here, and this separation will be R, R, A, P, R, A, P. This is your R, B, P. And this is your R C P. Are you clear? Are you understand how we are taking R A P, R B P, and R C P? Hello, Hamza. Yes, sir. Are you understand it? Yes, sir. Okay. Then, <laughs> what is the total potential? This is our question. Find the potential at P. Then can you tell me what will be your total potential? In the previous uh, part, you have already seen the total potential can be calculated by the help of adding all of these individual potential, okay, with each other. Then you can write here total potential at P. This is your V P is equal to V A, V B, and V C, which is your one over four pi epsilon naught. You can look at this equation. From this equation, you can look at here. We are taking one over four pi epsilon naught outside. In bracket, we get this part. Are you understand or not, Hamza? We are going to copy this equation. Okay. Ah uh, yes. Okay. Uh, Q one over R A P plus Q B over R B P and Q C over R C P. Note it down, please. Note it down, please.
Have you noted it? Sir, I'm writing. Okay. It's done. So done. Right. And now we are going to remove this part, okay? Because this is a very long part. Now, in the next step, we have v at t is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught q a over you can write here r p minus r a in magnitude plus q b over r p minus r b and q c over r p minus r c okay and when you put all of these values, you get 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught in bracket Q1. What is your Q1? Q1 is your 1 into 10 raised to the power minus 6. You from this equation, uh, sorry, from the uh, from here. What is your RP? RP is 0, I, 0, J, and 0. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This is your, yeah, RP. This is your RP. RP is minus I minus 2, sorry, plus 2J and minus K minus. What is your RA? RA 0I, 0J, 0K. So we are going to left it. Are you clear? Plus, what is your value of QB? QB is minus 2 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 over RP. RP is again minus I cap plus 2J cap minus K cap minus. What is your RB? RB is minus I plus 2J plus 3K plus what is your QC? QC is your minus of 1 into 10 raised to the power minus 6. And uh, RP, RP is minus I cap plus 2J cap minus of K cap minus what is your RC? RC is 2I cap minus J cap plus K cap. Okay? Are you clear or not? Yes, sir. Okay. And now please note it down these two steps because it is very important to retain, okay, to left it all of these values here. Okay. So we can't remove it. Please note it down these two lines.
so we're done. Okay. And <clears throat> again, we are going to remove this step because we have required this step in this. <clears throat> one over four pi epsilon naught. <laughs> you can take 10 raised to the power minus six as a common. You can look at here in all of the parts, you have 10 raised to the power minus six. So we are taking 10 raised to the power minus six. Okay, one into, are you clear? Now it is one over <clears throat> minus i cap, one second, minus of i cap, plus 2j cap minus k cap. And now this minus sign and plus sign will be minus again. Minus 2 over minus i cap plus 2j cap minus k cap and now multiply this negative sign into this bracket values, you get plus i cap minus 2j cap minus 3k cap. And once again, minus 1 into 10 raised to the power because here you can look at here, this is your minus sign. And again, it will be minus 1 over minus i cap plus 2j cap minus k cap minus 2i after multiplying this negative sign into this bracket value minus 2i plus j minus k. Okay. Then what you get here? You will get you have already know 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught is 9 into 10 raised to the power 9 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 you have already 1 over minus of i cap plus 2j cap minus k cap minus 2 over minus i see here minus i plus i will cancel plus 2j and minus 2j is cancelled here now it will be 2 over minus k and minus 3k, minus k and minus 3k will be minus of 4k, minus 1 over minus i and minus 2i will be minus of 3i plus 2j and plus j will be plus 3j minus k and minus k will be minus of 2k. Okay. Now I'm going to remove it. And now it is not required. Now you can Note it. Please note it down. These two lines. Hamza. Please note it down. Yes, sir. Have you noted it, Hamza? Yes, sir. And now from this line, you can see 9 into 10 raised to the power 9 and 10 raised to the power minus 6 will be 9 into 10 raised to the power 3. Okay. Plus 9 minus 6 will be 3. Plus 3. And now 
uh, this is okay all of these value are in modulus so you can take here in modulus you can write in root of minus of 1 square plus of 2 square and minus 1 square okay i hope you can understand uh, how we are taking here uh, in the root are you understand or not hamza yes sir okay minus 2 over uh, minus of 4 square in root and minus of 1 over minus 3 square plus 3 square and plus minus of 2 square in root okay then 9 into 10 raised to the power 3 it is 1 over root of minus 1 square is 1 plus 4 plus 1 minus 2 over 16 minus 1 over 9 plus 9 plus 4 you get 9 into 10 raised to the power 3 One over root of six minus two over root of sixteen can be written as four. Okay, minus one over root of twenty-two. You can subtract. Uh, sorry, you can cancel it to to the four. Now nine into ten raised to the power three is one over root of six. Minus one over two, minus one over root of twenty-two. This is your value of potential at point P. Note it down, please. Are you satisfied in today's class, Hamza? Any issue? Hamza, have you any issue? Yes, sir. Is totally clear or not? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Note it down, please. It's over. 